It's called the Ovens River Carp Removal Project. Basically, carp removal is one of a number of strategies aimed to rehabilitate the river for native fish. So if we hit the whole health of the system from a, a multitude of different um, strategic approaches, it's much more likely to result in improved native fish populations compared with us using single strategies like just removing carp, just increasing connectivity, just increasing habitat, just increasing flows. So if we use a combination of these, it's been shown throughout the world that a multiple approach to river rehabilitation will provide us with the best results for native fish. The benefits of removing carp is that they occupy 85% of the biomass of fish in our, in our waterways. So in saying that, they're, they're occupying the space that our native fish would and they're destroying um, the habitat and the food chain that uh, the native fish need. Carp are a terrible introduced species. They muddy up the water. They actually prey on the eggs and juveniles of a lot of our native species. Our component of the project is to undertake electrofishing surveys. So we go through and we pulse DC voltage into the water, which stuns the fish. We then pick the fish up with the nets, put them in the flow through tanks, and the carp, we anaesthetise them until they die. And from there, the carp go to neutral soil. Well here at Nutrisol we take the whole unprocessed carp and we combine it with manure and we feed it to worm farms. So we take the liquid and we make a Nutrisol biological fertiliser which is used by farmers as a fertiliser to make nutrient dense food. So it completed the cycle which was very satisfying to the Wangata Sustainability Network's efforts to become involved in clean up our waterways. So people like Kelvin Berry from the Wangaratta Sustainability Network come and collect the carp from us and then they transport that up to neutral soil. So far, in the, over the last few years, we've pulled out six to 7,000 kilograms of carp out of a 30, 40 k stretch of river. So that's fantastic to actually feel like you're doing something, you're contributing back to the river. The larger body of important fish species in a river system like this include Murray cod, endangered trout cod, endangered Macquarie perch, of which there's a translocation program currently underway to repopulate the river with a species that was here previously. Over the last 200 years, it's estimated that we've lost 90% of our native fish species. So this program is aiming to increase that number over the next 50 years to back to 60% of what it was. This is some welcome evident kids. Being involved with uh, students from the uh, tech school, CLC students, and these uh, young, younger students from country schools, it, it's helping educate them into what the future is and to, to make sure you look after what we've got. This is an incredible example of community government partnerships that deliver great outcomes for the Ovens River. Partnerships are absolutely crucial to the whole program from start to finish. Without everybody chipping in, it wouldn't happen.